I actually never got your name. Yeah, because you never asked for it. Can I get your name? Haley. Haley? That's it. Did you want something hyphenated? Do you know how many famous screenwriters were born into the Wright family? Efren, Abrams, Lena Dunham, Paul Thomas Anderson, all of them had an in. Hollywood, it's all about who you know. I'm seizing an opportunity. I met the daughter of the world's greatest screenwriter. I get close to her, I get close to him, and then it's like I'm born into Hollywood royalty with more than a few weeks of work. The work being dating a girl. You know, you never did that thing. The Yanni, Army Around Me movie. I wanted to do Not Caught Me. So um, the logical next step was Escape League. So we're joined by Neve Wilson, who plays Haley in the movie All About Who You Know. It's an indie rom-com. It's an indie anti-Hollywood rom-com. It's a, it's a wonderful film. It has fantastic writing, and I, and I loved your character. Um, it's been streaming up in Canada on Crave, but uh, it, it just recently got released on Amazon Prime in America, so now more people can, uh, can you know, experience that as well. So you know, thank you for joining me. And uh, I guess what drew you to that character? Uh, well, Jake... Or when mm, I got sent the script uh, and asked to do like a quick taping of it mm -hmm. or have a couple scenes from it. And I remember reading the script. I was up at my friend's cottage uh, and like it being whatever time of night and me like sitting in my bed on my phone, like scrolling through the script being like, oh my God, this is so good. I want to be in this. Um, and then doing a taping and uh, getting an email like the next day or something about them wanting to hire me and that was really cool <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome um you know one thing i loved about your character is she kind of she kind of comes off as you know maybe not the most aware but then you find out later that she's a very strong character and very yeah. kind of sure of herself did that appeal to you and i also noticed some parallels between you know that kind of character and you know your new character in in the uh, random acts of violence that was just released did, did, did that um you know aspect of Haley appeal to you or yeah, she, um, it was interesting. Like, I've never really done any type of romantic comedy or any type of character where, um, you know, I'm playing opposite uh, a love interest in the way that I am in, in um, All About Who You Know, <laughs> which definitely, like, attracted me to the role, like, being able to, like, broaden my horizons in terms of the characters I've played. Um, but yeah, it was, it's interesting because you, you're watching the film and you really think that like, she's just kind of being pushed around by, by the people around her. And, and then you realize that actually she's quite, she's quite in control of, of her life and, and what's going on around her, yep. which I really enjoyed. Um, I like that there was more to her than just, you know, being the, being the love interest or being like that secondary character where you don't actually really learn about anything in their lives or who they are as people they're really just there to feed the main character yeah to kind of serve um, a purpose essentially yeah so that that was what drew, drew me to her but also just like how weird she was and the language she used and how she interacted with this guy like it all just and it spoke to um a younger me uh, a way that i used to act or or um, be influenced by people. So, yeah, it was, it, was, yeah that, it was just a great script. I was just really happy to work on it. That aspect uh, you know, really struck me when I saw it. It, just, it felt like all the characters really kind of had many different motivations and layers that you know, kind of you, you experienced as the movie went on. So I, I really appreciated that part as well. And I also liked kind of how fresh it felt. I mean, did it feel, uh, you know, it was a, kind of a different movie to, to film. It felt like the, the writing was, you know, kind of irreverent and also felt a little bit more younger to your point um you know something might appeal to a younger generation yeah it was definitely i never filmed anything like it before i think that was why i was so drawn to drawn to it specifically um and yeah it was like it was interesting working on it i i had worked with dylan previously on um a movie years ago and it was, yeah, it was really interesting, like, working in a genre I'd never really worked in before. So, yeah, it was definitely, and compar comparatively to the other film that I was working on when I was working on Random Acts of Violence at the exact same time, like, 
very different, very different work experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for your next uh, movie, a horror rom-com mashup. Let's, uh, let's get that made. Actually, that would be dope. I think there is definitely room for that genre in today's, you know. Today's world. Yes. Yeah, today's world, today's. I'm sure there are more, but uh, Anna and the Apocalypse comes to mind as kind of like a, a horror rom-com comedy. Uh, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure there's more like it. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully more get made. I think, you know, people would be interested in that, uh, that type of escape. Maybe I'll write it. Maybe yeah, I'll write it. there you go. You've got, you've got the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, you know, I guess Haley's character is, you know, I loved her character and I love that she had this kind of artistic, um, you know, musical aspect to it. So, or, you know, does that, was that something that resonated with you? And, you know, what kind of artistic type of uh, interest do you have, you know, other than obviously acting? Mm. Um, uh, when I was reading it, I was, so I have been a dancer pretty much my whole life. And when I was reading it, I was really, um, even though I'm not a great singer, so it's actually not me singing in the film. Oh, um, even uh, even though I'm like not particularly musically inclined, um, I play violin, but that's about it. Um, that's a, that's a complicated instrument. <laughs> yeah, it was just like something I, you know, spent doing growing up. It was like one of those things you you know you go to music class and you do these extracurriculars and that's what takes up your time after school. Um, that's what violin kind of was. And I definitely, uh, in terms of Haley's like artistic abilities, like dance really resonated with, you know, the time that she spent doing it and, and her trying to make her way in, in that field. Um, I really related to that, but in, in, in terms of my career as, or like how I've been, you know, navigating the world in my dance, in my dance side, not my acting side. Warning to everyone, this is going to delve into spoilers, um, heavy spoilers, uh, but I just kind of have to know, what do you think happens to Haley in the end, and what, uh, you know, what, who does, who does uh, Dylan choose, or what does Dylan choose, or are we just not supposed to know? Hmm. I mean, Jake has left it up to interpretation and it, we never actually really like talked about what happened to Haley afterwards. Um, it kind of, you know, landed differently for every, for every actor, I think, and for everyone working on the film. Um, in my brain, I like to think that Haley went on about her own life um, without, you know, without a man for the next foreseeable, foreseeable future and just kind of doing her own thing, working on her music and really just like taking advantage of you know what she learned from that relationship and 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 moving forward from it so not that I have anything against them being together <laughs> <laughs> I just like to think in my ideal like continuation of the story she's living her best life best single lady life and doing her <laughs> own thing and learning more about herself that's a good answer. I like that view. I uh, I asked Jake, you know, like three different things. Like, th th does this happen or this or this? Like, what happens? And he's like, yes. <laughs> so you're like, great. Okay, yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Jake. Thanks for the insider. Thanks info. for <laughs> thanks for uh, not answering any of my questions. Awesome. Um, so, well, thank you so much for answering these questions. Uh, you know, all about who you know is it's been streaming in Canada, so I imagine it has it's gotten a good reception up there. And, and now in America, you can stream it on Amazon Prime. So pretty much everyone can check it out. I mean, everyone pretty much has Amazon Prime because we're kind of using that to survive in the uh, in, in the lockdown. Film. So uh, you know, make sure to check it out. See uh, Neve Wilson's amazing performance, and, and all the characters are, are just fantastic. So make sure to check it out. And uh, as always, go to WatcherPass.com for all your movie reviews, news, interviews, deals, and recommendations. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. That was Neve Wilson, who plays Haley in All About Who You Know, an irreverent indie rom-com with some fantastic writing and characters. It is now streaming on Amazon Prime, so pretty much anyone can check it out. And, uh, you know, it, it makes for a great evening. It, it has a lot of fresh aspects that you just don't see in most movies. And it has a really kind of interesting premise and very f interesting characters and, and very funny writing. Um, it, it, it's, it's a great way to kind of spend your evening during quarantine and uh, make sure to check it out. 
If you like this interview, please feel free to like and subscribe. It, uh, it helps us out a lot. It makes sure these interviews come directly to you and uh, you'll be notified of future videos and it helps us make sure to be able to make more. And um, as always, please go to watcherpass.com for all your movie news, reviews, interviews, deals, and recommendations. Thank you. Thank you.